Hello everyone, thanks for checking out this video and welcome to my channel. My name is Chris. We talk all about jackets here on this channel. Um, jackets from Arcteryx, Patagonia, Rab, Heli Hansen, to name a few. Um, if you're into outdoor activities, you know, mountain climbing, hiking, rock climbing, skiing, you know, trekking, snowboarding, all that kind of stuff, you need a really nice jacket. Um, please check out all my videos. I have a ton of videos here on this channel all about these jackets to help give you as much information as I can about them. Is if you're like myself and not able to go to a store to actually try these things on and see how they fit and see how they feel and the whole bit. You know, you know basically we're spending a lot of money online um, for a jacket that we're hoping is what we want it to be when we get it. And so with that in mind, I'm doing these videos for you guys to give you all this information about these jackets and really try to tell you and explain to you what they're like and all about, how they fit, how we can layer with them so that you can make a good decision on whether you know which jacket might be right for you and hopefully when you purchase that jacket and you get it it's not a surprise it's exactly what you thought it might be so <laughs> anyway that's what we're trying to do here so Today's video is about this Rethel jacket from Arcteryx. It's brand new for spring uh, 2023, and it is basically a fleece. It is a really interesting fleece though. I own a bunch of fleeces from Arcteryx, and I love their fleeces. I have a whole bunch of them that I like to wear, you know, in cooler weather, um, in the winter, you know, all the time. These things are really, really great. So I wanted to see what this one was all about. Um, this is definitely an interesting piece, so I was actually kind of excited to do this video and tell you about it because it's not a typical fleece like all the others that I have from Arcteryx. It's a little bit different. Um, this fleece basically has a nice, warm, soft fleece lining here on the inside, and it's a Polar Tech Air fleece. It looks very different from any other fleece that I have from Arcteryx, but it is a pretty soft um, fleece. It's not a thick fleece, but it has a really durable face fabric here on the top, um, which kind of makes it thicker and a little heavier. So this is a pretty warm fleece. I would say it's probably a little warmer than a kyanite, um, or it's it's a little bit different than the kyanite, right? The kyanite is soft and really stretchy. This one, it has some stretch to it, but it's more durable. The, the fabric on the face here is definitely a pretty durable fabric that's um, actually, they're saying it's pilling resistant. And I can see that because it's not like a soft, um, I don't know what's the <laughs> furry kind of you know what I'm saying um, furry kind of feel this is actually like a hard face it's a pretty you know durable fabric here and it actually has a DWR coating on it so it will repel light rain which is really cool on a fleece because most of the times fleeces just absorb water um, so this has the ability to repel some light rain and you know it's it is nice and soft on the inside it's comfortable on the inside um, now there's only two pockets in this jacket um, just the two pockets right here in the front and it is lined on the inside these pockets are all mesh lined so it allows for some breathability through these um, mesh you know pockets linings here um, it can breathe so it's pretty neat no other pockets on the jacket other than that. Now this jacket is available in two different forms. This is the jacket that is a full zip. There is also almost like, I call it like a, a pullover with a hood um, that does not have the zipper in the front. All right, I'm, I opted for the zipper. I like to zip it up. Um, now it is a regular fit. 
So the fit on this is, you know, pretty roomy. I don't want to say it's it's a really large fitting jacket because um, it's not. It's it fits me well, but there's definitely room inside it. Okay, it's a regular fit, so there is room to wear layers underneath it. Now, what's kind of cool with this jacket is a lot of times, for me anyway, I like wearing my fleeces underneath a heavier insulation layer. Okay, I have a Proton LT here. So I'm going to show you in a little bit how to layer um, using this Proton LT. So typically I would wear a fleece underneath and an insulation layer, you know, a Proton, an Atom, and we can do like a down, like a, a thorium on the on top of this fleece and that all works good. This fleece, again, being a regular fit, there's room underneath it for layers. So this can actually be worn either as a mid-layer, right, with a with a insulation layer on top of it or a shell on top of it, or it can be on used as an outer layer with a light layer under it being that we have enough room. So it's pretty cool that it's versatile in that you know effect. Now, it can be worn as an outer layer because it has a DWR coating on it, right? And it can repel some light rain. So <laughs> it's just whatever you prefer. All right, so we're gonna get into that. I'll show you layering with this jacket. Um, it's kind of cool. I picked a Proton LT. It's a really popular, you know, mid-weight kind of uh, synthetic insulated jacket that's very breathable. And I wanna show you how you can wear that on top of this or under this, and it works both ways. So it's a pretty, uh, pretty neat piece. Now, this jacket, you know, not only do we have some, some room inside of it, um, it's also pretty long. It has a nice length to it, okay, front and back. So it's definitely, you know, like I said, if you're wearing it as an outer layer, as, a, you know, like a shell, a soft shell kind of thing, it definitely has some length to cover up whatever's underneath it. Um, <clears throat> two pockets, like I said, here on the side with mesh linings for venting. It also has these um, stretchable cuffs on, on the uh, end of the sleeves here. So they're, they're great, you know, if, if you're wearing uh, gloves or something, it can stretch up around them and over them. They're pretty nice uh, cuffs on the end of the jacket. Um, just a collar here, just a zip up collar on this one, no hood, um, but uh, yeah. Now, just for your reference, I am six foot two, 215 pounds, and this is a size extra large. Uh, every piece I own, just about every piece I own from Arcteryx is an extra large. So, you know, I stick with that size. And then, you know, sometimes I can say like this one runs a little bit bigger because it's a regular fit. Um, if it's a fitted jacket, it's a little tighter. Okay, it fits a little bit tighter. It's not as baggy. But um, this is really a good all-purpose kind of just rough and tough do anything with it. The material on the outside here is a little more durable. It's a, it's a rougher, tougher fabric. It does have a little bit of stretch to it, but it's not the soft kind of fuzzy fabric that a lot of fleeces are. This is definitely durable. I mean, backpacks or whatever over this, I don't see any problem. Um, Arcteryx, you know, says this is pilling uh, resistant. So I can definitely see that here. There's no fuzzy stuff here that's going to, you know, pill. Um, so <laughs> definitely good if you're looking, you know, to do some backpacking and hiking and stuff like that. This could be a good option for you. All right. So let's get into the layering. <clears throat> as I said, it can be worn either way as an outer layer or <clears throat> a layer underneath an insulation layer. So here's my Proton LT. And we'll throw that on on top here. And you can see how, I'll just pull the collar up. You can see how um, the Proton LT fits over this. 
So if you're doing, like I said, a proton, an atom, uh, maybe a nice down insulated jacket like the thorium, um, definitely can go over top of this. Now, as I was talking about the length, right, you can see the length of this rethyl is definitely longer than the proton. Okay, you can see it hanging here on the bottom. The back is not so bad because the proton tapers down. But in the front, it's definitely longer. Um, it's fine. I'm just showing you how it fits. Okay, so this works great, right? A nice fleece layer underneath a synthetically insulated jacket on top. Um, no problem. Now we're going to flip flop them. We're going to put the proton on underneath and put the rethyl on top of it as the outer layer. And you'll see that that works perfectly fine too. <laughs> so while it has some room, okay, I don't think you're going to be putting this rethyl jacket on over top of like a thorium or a cerium SV or something really heavy like that, right? It's not that big. It's probably going to get a little bit restricting. But on top of a, you know, just a mid-sized insulation layer like this, they work great. Okay, so this can be a soft shell on top of <laughs> a nice breathable insulated jacket like this Proton. Okay, so here we go. Works both ways. Actually probably fits better as an outer layer over this, um, you know, being that it, it has room and it's just perfectly comfortable here. You can see how it fits all the way around. So really nice piece, very interesting fleece, a little bit different, like I said, than most of the fleeces that Arcteryx has in the fact that this does have a more durable, pilling resistant um, outer you know, face fabric here that is pretty durable and rough and tough. I would think that this can you know, take a, quite a bit of wear and tear. All right. So thank you for watching. I hope that gives you a good idea of what this fleece from Arcteryx is all about. And um, thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you're into this stuff. Hit the like button. I really appreciate the support. And thank you guys all for all your comments and, and whole bit. Um, it's great to hear from people, especially from all over the world. When I get comments from different parts of the world, it's very cool. So thank you very much. Hopefully we'll see you back again soon. Take care. Bye.